at the start of the season, everyone was saying top four in Europa League. So if we don't win the Europa League and just get top four, on their words, the managers failed and the team have failed. But having said that, expectations can change. So if we finish a couple of points behind Man City without winning anything, then nothing. We go again. Yeah, I agree. I think context there is key. I'm going to do another caller here. Uh, Kevin Perez is going to come on and join us now. What are you saying, Kev? Hey, how's it going? All, all good, my friend. All good. Um, I see everyone out in their Arsenal merch, you know. They make so much money. <laughs> Arsenal for We're this massive, too. We're massive. What, what do you want to say, brother? So, uh, I'm actually... I, I wanted to actually call Lee out on kind of that flip-floppy well. behavior. Um, I... I, I when you see the expectation of where the team was supposed to be, and when we were going through all the negative things that we were going through, there was still the foundation of the team. You could see the play style, where we were headed, and you could see with the transfers that we were making, how they were working, that Arteta knew what he was doing. When things wouldn't go our way and we would lose due to a ref decision or something not going our way, you would still be harsh on him, and you wouldn't you wouldn't, and now that we're doing better, now that we're doing great, instead of just admitting that you were wrong and giving him his flowers, you're still, you will find ways to kind of weasel out and say how you weren't wrong in the first place. Well, you're trying to rewrite history, number one, because at the time of all of this happening, I was spot on. Because for eighth, eighth and fifth ain't good enough. Yeah, and you, you just said that where Arsenal was supposed to be. Arsenal were never supposed to be eighth, eighth and fifth. Arsenal Football Club, like, you, I you think you're in America, right? Yes, I am. Yeah, absolutely massive in America. Absolutely massive all over the globe. Yeah, and then the way I, I think a lot of fans shoo us into this plucky losers, we're not supposed to be in there, we're not supposed to be doing this. Arsenal have got one of the biggest incomes. We've got one of the um, one of the, the biggest sponsorship deals with the shirt you're wearing with Adidas on it. Yeah, we're a massive football club. And, and when Arsenal were losing games... And, and you just said about refereeing decisions. Mate, you don't, win, you don't lose or win a football match based on a referee decision. Yeah, it's based on 90 minutes of football. Yeah, and if you need a refereeing decision to win you a football match, then you're in big trouble as a football club. And at the end of the day, 16 years ago, we moved into the Emirates Stadium. It weren't to finish 8th, 8th and 5th. So everything I was saying at the time was spot on. Yeah, and at the start of this season, like I said a minute ago, not a single Arsenal fan or football fan thought we'd win the title. And now we're in the mix. And so far, we're in the mix. And I've shut up about Arteta this season. Because now he's doing, and the club are doing, and the players are doing what we're supposed to be doing. When we when we signed Odegaard, I rightly so called him out. And, and now this season, he's had the best season he's ever had in football. Like Ben White, rightly so called him out. Last season, he was shambolic at centre-back. This season, I've said he's been the best right-back in the league. You know, Bakayo Saka, shoot more, be more composed in front of the goal. Now he's the best right-winger in the world for me right now. So it's like people want to take the negative out of it, but they miss all the positive stuff I say because so it's Kevin, in the narrative. Can I ask a question, Kevin? Is it so again? I I wind Lee up a lot, but Lee, <laughs> sure. but Lee, but Lee, <laughs> my job. <laughs> but Lee saying that Ben White's brilliant. Is it more the fact that he hasn't said I was wrong about something and then praises? Is it almost like some Arsenal fans want that bit in the middle where I said Arteta mm. wouldn't be good enough? I was wrong about that. He's been really good instead of what Lee does, which is just Arteta was crap and I wanted him out. He's doing really well now. I'm happy with him. You know, is, is there a middle ground that you feel is missing that should be there? So that's partly it. And it's partly just due to the fact that I feel like you could always see the process unfolding. Yes, yeah, sure. Eighth and eighth and fifth isn't fit for Arsenal. But when you put the context of where we were, where Emery left us, where we were in 10th, we had Mustafi in the back line in Kolasinac. Can I just stop you there? Sorry to cut you off. We, did, we weren't in 10th when Emery left. We were actually in eighth. Uh, sorry, I'm lying. We were joint six and we were eight points off a of top four with 25 games to go. There's this myth going around that Emery left us in a relegation battle. We didn't. We were eight points off, off a of top four with 25 games to go, sat in sixth. Okay. Yeah, uh, and then you're, saying, so... you're saying about the process and it was clear where Arsenal were going to go. But then you've just said and agreed with us that not a single Arsenal fan thought we were going to win the league this season. So no, there was no, 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 no evidence true. to suggest the process was going forward. When no, eight, no, 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 but there finished. was because again, it's when you we, we were getting rid of the deadwood and getting rid of uh the players that weren't keeping up with the standards of the club, players that were causing drama, players that weren't giving their all on the pitch. I'd rather see a pitch that's give uh, I'd rather see a pitch full of players that are giving a hundred percent than a whole mm. bunch of mercenaries that might get you an FA Cup and that's a trophy. I'd rather this is the sustained success we had to get eight. 
in fifth and fifth, I mean, eighth and eighth and fifth in order to be in the position we are and sustain it. We're not going to have just one season that of success and then fall back into where we were because of the process and because of what Arteta has done. Now we have a system that can sustain us for the next half decade to a decade because we have a youthful core and now we're building depth. No, I, I agree to one degree, but at the same time, there's a reason no youth project or process or whatever you want to call it has ever won a Premier League title. Yeah, because it's not sustainable and it never has been sustainable because normally the youth fall away towards the end of a season. We did, And this is a com not common knowledge to a lot of people. When we played Manchester United in the Champions League semi-final in 2009, I think it was, that squad that we had that season was younger than the squad we got now. And we got to a Champions League semi-final. So when you're saying that, um, you know, we've got a good core of young players and it was always going to go forward, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, cool. We got rid of the dead wood. So basically what you're saying is a football club is doing what it should do. Yeah. That's well, what I'm saying. Then. Yeah, you, that's agreeing what, with me? you weren't giving him his credit for that. And you Why should I give him credit for doing what they're supposed to be doing? Well, because we weren't, we didn't have managers that were doing what they were supposed to be doing. Emery wasn't doing that. Wenger, towards the end of his tenure, wasn't doing that. And so when you have a young manager that's coming in and instilling the art values of Arsenal, you see that there is something that is going to be built. For me, it always felt inevitable. Of course, there's nothing you can, there's no way to show that. There's no way you can actually say anything is inevitable. But seeing how he was changing the mentality of the club, how he was bringing in youth players that were good. He wasn't just shoehorning players in. Uh, and the, the play on the field was the biggest one for me. There were games with Emery against Liverpool where we looked like we were a championship team. With Arteta, we always kind of at least have, we look like an elite level team. There was and also games with Emery where we scored one of the best goals I've seen Arsenal ever score against Leicester. Ozil running back flick on the halfway line. Yeah, Martin Tyler's commentary, Arsenal's hard running style, that hard running style, Aubameyang, Ozil skips over the ball, it goes back in and Ozil skips it up and Aubameyang scores. Everyone likes to forget that. Emery also got us to a, uh, a Euro Europa League final. Cool, we got battered, yeah, but we still smashed up Valencia seven over two legs. And this this whole Emery, it was Emery's fault. He and um, Arteta's inherited a mess. No, no, this this is a lot of issues. When people want to sit there and rewrite history, I find it funny. Like we signed Pablo Marie, yeah, we signed C Cedric Suarez, we signed William, like we signed Runnison. Let's not pretend everything Ar Ar Arteta's done has been great because it hasn't. And, and the fact that we're doing well this season, cool, fantastic. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. But I do also think that William Saliba has been a massive part of that. And again, his decision to loan him out for three years straight, yeah, he could have had him in last season and we could have got top four last season, which might have kicked us on. Yeah, and we might have been able to compete on the FA Cup and the League Cup this season instead of throwing him in the bin. So, listen, it's great that we're top of the league. But at the end of the day... Arsenal Football Club are finally doing what they're supposed to be doing. Why should they get credit for doing what they smashed the stadium down for and have failed to do for the last 16 years? They'll get credit on the pitch. Fantastic. But I'm not going to go and sit and pat Edu on the back and Cronky on there. This is what they're supposed to be doing. Yeah. Uh, uh, listen, Kevin, I want to say a massive thank you for coming on and, up, and challenging, mate. A lot yeah, of credit too. to you because people don't do it and you did it respectfully. You, you come yeah, with some good up, points. Come with some really great points as well. Top man, Kevin. Thank you very much indeed.